Oh, love. What do we say about taste, huh? Okay, we got to talk taste. <laughs> because, look, <clears throat> if you're kissing each other, you're going to taste, right? And if you're tasting each other, you're going to taste. <laughs> so... You know how it is when you cook and you cook where you soulfully call out the magic in the food, like you talk to each plant spirit that you're cooking with, you talk to each animal and you thank the animal. <laughs> well, imagine thanking the body of your beloved. Uh, imagine evoking their taste to you. Um, <sighs> taste. T taste is scary. <laughs> taste is an essential ingredient of the sexual chakra. So we know this is, this is now you've got her, be her lover, and you're in it, you're in this territory, and the tastes, along with the smells, change. And it's freaky and scary that the woman you love can suddenly taste bad, like like the, her, her, her breath can be bad, and you go, oh my god, this is the woman I love, and I'm, and I'm repulsed, right? So remembering that uh, it's our relationship with water that changes taste. Water is this sacred uh, deity of this planet. And if you, if you get into the, the, the situation where you're starting to really like um, evoke the spirit of water, <laughs> then what happens is, the magic of the water starts to cleanse you. So even just drinking water before seeing your beloved, have a couple glasses, you know. Um, the water is full of memory. It's full of, um, it's full of life force. And we're all just drinking these sodas and these beers and even like health food drinks. Like it's all this sugar. And that is having to be purified. It's a toxin too, too much sugar and all that. So... I'm trying to figure out, wow, how, how, do, how do I taste delicious? Like, it's not a given thing, right? It's not a given thing. So it's something you work for. <laughs> you, 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 you make yourself cleansed for being tasted. <laughs> okay, so making magic food together. We're talking about pleasuring the feminine. Um, make yourself taste good. Would you please drink water? You guys who smoke a lot, ugh, it's a gross taste for kissing with. You guys who smoke a lot of pot, there can be a really bitter skunk taste. You know, just drink some water, okay? That's it. Nothing, all this gargling with Listerine is just not necessary. <laughs> just drink water, <laughs> okay? And if you could, if you could start getting into like, um, like the magic cooking together. Yeah, start getting into some, some, some tasting food together. It's the most romantic way to have a date is to cook together slowly and slowly taste the food together and feed each other, watch each other eat like in a slow way where it's about that simpatico where, where you're seeing them taste, you're tasting, compersion, what they have, you have. <laughs> and... <clears throat> You know, slowly, slowly cooking together, feeling those erotic feelings in the passion of the cooking. When you're cooking together in an intentional way on a date, it's like you're making a magic recipe for your lives in every, in every cut, in every, in every savory uh, spicing. <laughs> There's a symbology that you're adding and you can talk to each other as you cook this way together uh, about what you're adding, the spice you're adding and why. And you can talk about how this thing you're cooking reminds you of them. This fruit you're cutting is all about them, you know. So that's why I really love cooking movies. Like I, uh, the, the movie Woman on Top is the one I, I recommend for you guys because it's a very good parable about uh, when there are certain ways that women need to be, might need to be on top. Your woman in her own way has to be allowed to have, you know, when you're worshiping the divine feminine, it's very different than um, expecting that she's going to worship you and that that's going to make you happy. 
it's that worshiping of her. <laughs> it's different than uh, this is this is the main thing to get about this show and about this whole story about the divine feminine is that guys who think that being equal is feminism have it all wrong. The only way to even approximate feminism is to <laughs> worship her. <laughs> Because if you're doing equal things, you know, oh, well, she gave me that. Now I'll give this. No, we have to do equal groceries. And mama. <laughs> as soon as you're in that story, you don't realize that there's hundreds of ways the feminine is giving to you. If she's a feminine woman, you know, uh, in her feminine, uh, hundreds of ways that you don't see the way she s uh, prays for you, the way she thinks of you, the way she dresses for you, the hours she spent before you showed up not bothering, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So by doing these little things that to you seem like going over the top for her um, that are like worshipful, bringing her flowers or whatever, you're like, oh, I'm, that's too humiliating. She didn't do that for me. Well, you're just bringing balance by bringing worship. Because <laughs> if you try to do equality, she's so ahead of you. She's overgiven and you have no clue. <laughs> and, the, and plus, she doesn't want equality in terms of everything on that guys want on their terms and you know remember you're being paid more remember your options are all your powers being supported all around you in ways that hers won't be unless she goes masculine she doesn't have this, the options you have masculine women have a lot more <clears throat> options financially but the feminine women don't <clears throat> because we don't want to drive a tractor or be a big business person or or, or work on a computer all day or all the things that are well paid be a doctor and be on a huh. we want to stay in our feminine and then those you know those feminine uh occupations are uh terribly underpaid and your occupations are very highly paid so like why did i get onto this tangent well, <laughs> well because taste <laughs> it's all about cooking and the time she puts into cooking is another deal time you put into cooking that that uh, alone shows how much time is she giving to her life to herself to her body if she's cooking for you regularly and how often are you cooking for her because that's a lot of time and energy every day to put in energy for taste and if you take that for granted like huge portions of her life are gone for meals you don't even care if you eat <laughs> so don't eat those meals don't have her cook for you so much make it a special opportunity then cook for her and then get into cleansing food as much vegetables as you can if you're going to eat meat please please find the farms where the guys are taking care of their animals and the animals are having a wonderful life okay find those those farms and and then the meat will have a vitality to it okay <laughs> so the more cleansing the food is the more organic um, the more water the more the taste between you are going to become celestial, pure, uh, heavenly, and and um, and when heavenly tastes come about, now you're starting to enter into a realm of cosmic love and sensual sexuality that's connected to spirit. Ooh, heart connection, spirit connection in the sexual uh, chakra is what this show is all about. For pleasuring the feminine you've got to unite the two so we're calling the last chakra that we're, that we're going to be exploring together it's the unification chakra it's the one that encompasses all of, the, all of them and unites spirit with root <laughs> so you're going to get there with this show i really encourage you watch every show uh the whole show my, my analytics show that most of you guys are watching two minutes <laughs> and that's okay but if you really want to pleasure the feminine think of this video where it started and where it ended up that's a huge amount of information in there for you if you're thinking about scent and cooking in the beginning of the video there was nothing about cooking and that's a huge part of romantic living so please 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 <laughs> watch the whole video watch less videos but at least watch the whole video if you don't have much time watch less but the but, but complete them okay and then hopefully you can watch all of the 88 ways okay wow because <laughs> you're gonna have the time of your life we are we're having the time of our lives aren't we so lucky to be alive <laughs> okay love life darling take care of yourself eat great food and veganism is a super high art any way that you can replace your dairy 
with vegan dairy, any way you can replace your, your fats with like olive oil and avocado and all that stuff, the, the more vibrationally alive you'll become. Okay, love life, darling.